I wanted to, first time I ever really got into DJing was in 1999. I was in Houston. We had gone there for a funeral. And of course, Houston, it hasn't gotten any better in 20 years. The traffic is still crazy. It was crazy back then. And we got caught in traffic and we were listening to 97.9, The Box in Houston. DJ by the name of DJ Steve Nice came on and did a mix. And at the time, like he was playing songs that were like album cuts. Like he was playing all the popular stuff that they weren't playing in my hometown. And then he was playing like album cuts off of there. And I was like, they can play this on the radio? Like I couldn't believe it because I was like, they would never play anything like this in my hometown. And that's like the first thing that made me really fall in love with DJ and it. Some of the other ones, some of the really good ones, throwback Thursday party at Haley's that I used to do. 90s night at Haley's. I did that for almost four years until it closed. There's Millennial Tuesdays. We had a couple of different ones when I was there. Let's see, uh, this was my Wednesday night at Tavern and that went for three years. That was a really good party. A lot of people remember a lot of great things about that. Say more flyers and things. <laughs> A little bit of everything you're getting to see today. Before I got married and had children, you know, so I had a child, I was out seven nights a week. I would go out every night. And I would go to every bar. I would go on the square. I would go on Fry Street. When Rock and Rodeo was doing something, I would go over there. Anywhere that I could go where I could meet people and kind of just be in their face to be like, hey, my name is DJ Question Mark. You know, and it, that, it, that's a super grind. You know, it takes a lot to go out on a regular basis, to go out and basically you're turning up every single night. Not good for the body, let me tell you. Not good for the body, not good for the mind or the spirit. You know, but it, at the time, it, it was necessary for me. It was necessary. We were asking around uh, campus to different constituents saying, you know, who's, who's the person we need to use? Asking students, uh, and everyone kept saying DJ Question Mark is the one we need to use because they were seeing him work on Fry Street, they were seeing him work in Denton, uh, people knew him and it wasn't just from his, his work he was doing, he was, he was an overall good guy and that's kind of the people we want working with us. First game, don't get to do it, the rest of the games go really well, he's like, hey, do you want to do football next year? Yes, I do want to do football. Start doing football, did a really great job with football, he asked me if when, did I want to do women's basketball, yes, so I'm doing football, men's and women's basketball. 2016 um, Conference USA Championships, uh, softball championships are at North Texas. I end up doing the softball championship. It seems like it's the greatest thing ever. Conference USA really loved it. Softball team was like, why don't we have him? How come we can't have him? So then he was like, do you want to do softball? I'm like, yes. So it has just really just been a snowball effect through each and every one of these. That, that's all it's been. It's just one thing after another. It's just been a blessing. Any day the, you know, the university calls on me to do, it's a great feeling to see everyone dance because, like I say, as I'm getting older, you know, they're staying 18 to 22 for the most part. So to still be able to rock people, you know, who are 10, 12 years younger than I am, 15 years younger than I am, oh, it's an amazing feeling. You're going to get that. <laughs> The schedule is extremely hard because it changes. Like, you know, one day he's working an 11 to 1 event during the day, and then the next day he's working, you know, 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So in the beginning, you could ask him. He, he was so tired. He always had some type of bags under his eyes because he was always tired. A baby doesn't care what your schedule's going to be. So we did it all, just the two of us. And... We had to make some sacrifices with our own time, and it's been a juggle, but well, we did it, we did it. Everything happened so quickly for us, but it, it has really been a blessing. You know, my wife and my son have been an amazing blessing in my life. He's smart, he's vibrant, he has pizzazz, and he's willing to give anything to the crowd to make the crowd know that, look here, you are in the real party. Every time we have an event, whether it be for a sorority, or even for a wedding, we always have DJ Question Mark come out because he is the best of the best. Um, he always plays a good mix of music. It's never, you never feel like he's only playing to one or catering to one type of person. He's always trying to make sure that everyone's having a good time and he does it through his music. He knows all of the hits, he knows what's trending, and he, just, he keeps the party going, so it's been fun. DJ Question Mark will be the DJ at my wedding, so that's it. <laughs>